flip video because I have been constantly asking people to give me video ideas and I'm gonna let it ring today I'm doing a thrift flip video because I've been constantly asking people to give me suggestions and um, somebody said I should do a thrift flip I'm starting from the easiest stuff to the hardest stuff this is literally the first top that I'm doing is this not really much going on here I've got this tank top and I'm literally just gonna cut it that's the flip. Ugh, ghetto. I know it's really basic and it's super straightforward, but like all over my Pinterest, I've been seeing a lot of like plain white tops that are like cut with like some high waisted jeans. I'm just trying to achieve that look. It is July 1st. My bet is I'm really not finishing this until next week. I just have a feeling I'm not doing this for a while. After I cut it though, I think I'm gonna style it. You could see like what I would wear with it or something like that. As if anybody asked for that, but anyways. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back with another clothing related video. In all honesty, I didn't think I'd get here after that last one with the half bleach, half dye thingy. I was like, bro, I am never touching a clothing transformation video ever again. This is a basic white t-shirt. Apparently this is called a wife beater. I don't know who in the 1947 made that up. Who really let that slide? Yeah, let's go ahead and name it a wife beater. That has to be the ghettoest thing I have ever heard in my 18 years of living. And y'all still be calling it that? No, it couldn't be me. Anyways, I basically just wanted to cut at a length that I'd be most comfortable with. Wearing. I was feeling pretty wise and I decided I was gonna use pencil to trace out that line on little cotton Obviously, they didn't really work out So I had another amazing idea and I was like, let me just go ahead and use a marker on my freshly washed white t-shirt Yeah, the brain cells weren't really pumping here I marked it off and I basically just cut a straight line across which was pretty simple I cut above where I marked it though because I realized I probably shouldn't keep like the random green dot there But this is the overall outcome and I'm pretty sure I actually wore like this exact outfit out later that night Like literally copy and pasted this outfit. This was definitely the easiest and the least stressful flip that I did. I paired it with some jeans and some shoes. It was pretty basic, but that's kind of the look I was going for. Overall, I was pretty satisfied with how it came out. I just did the white shirt and then this is the other tank top that I said I'm doing today. The idea I had with this shirt is that I wanted to cut it in half and like secure it with bobby pins. I was also thinking of dyeing it though, like using bleach to like give it like a tie-dye effect. We're gonna go ahead and get this flipped thrift. What? Did that, did that even make sense? Okay, so this is shirt number two, which is another tank top. Um, notice how I called it a tank top instead of a lacy wife beater. Anyway, this is a tank top with the lace bottoms. This shirt kind of made me feel nostalgic because I swear I was rocking these in the third grade and I thought I was a whole baddie. But we don't speak of middle school Deb because she was just, um, no. I decided to go with the bleach option even though <laughs> bleach and I haven't really come to an agreement since that last video where I decided to bleach half of my jeans and I literally tried to decompose my skin on multiple occasions. So as we all have just seen, my experience with bleach is um, phenomenal, really. Honestly, I haven't really made much improvements. I mean, I brought gloves to wear, but I decided they'd be more useful as floor decoration. So they didn't really find their way to my hands, but what we're gonna do is ignore that. I cut out like a little sample piece of the material to kind of like test out how the bleach would actually show up on the olive green color. Cause I didn't really know if it was gonna be like a look or not. So I sprayed bleach on like a tiny piece and it literally turned orange in a matter of seconds. Like I don't know what type of algebra that is but i was low-key shook i wrapped up the tank top how you would regularly wrap up like a tie-dye shirt and i sprayed it with bleach until i was satisfied a few hours later i took it out and honestly i didn't really like it you can literally tell from my body language i literally stared at that and i was like the ghetto i am not putting this in the video but then i tried it on and i wasn't mad like on the lowest of keys i was feeling it and i kind of wish i left it i cut straight through the middle of the shirt and then i cut about an inch off of both sides and from here is kind of like your personal judgment but i knew that i wanted the pins to kind of look like they were pulling on the shirt so i cut a few more centimeters off of it then I added a couple pins and I was pretty much done I tried it on of course and I actually really like how it came out
know i don't know if my father will really let me leave the house with this t-shirt on but we can try i will let y'all know but i'm leading towards no regardless i think this top is super cute it was definitely one of the easier thrift flips because all it really requires is bleach pins scissors and untouched gloves okay so it's the next day actually no it's not the next day i think it's it's two days after the next day. Basically today I wanna to get the next two shirts done. This is the first shirt that I wanna thrift flip. For this one, I was debating on making it like a ruched top, but I was on Pinterest again and I saw like this like tie kind of detail. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use fabric glue though because I really don't wanna get into sewing unless I have to. Once again, I'm starting off with another basic top. I've been really into green recently, so this t-shirt kind of matches my current aesthetic. I definitely overuse that word. For this flip, all you need is your t-shirt, a pair of scissors, chalk, and some fabric glue. The first thing I did was cut off about four to five inches of this shirt. The amount you cut is definitely personal preference. You can cut more, you can cut less. It's really up to you. I actually upgraded from pencils and markers though and decided I'm gonna go ahead and use some chalk. I don't know why it took me so long to come up with the idea, but y'all should be proud because I don't usually do the whole common sense thing. Then using the bottom piece, I cut about half half of an inch so that I can make the string. Once I cut that out into a long piece, I used fabric glue and I basically glued along the length, kind of like an envelope. I glued one side and folded it inwards and then I did the same on the other side. After I'd done this, I ironed it to ensure that it stays flat and then I tied the string around the front of the shirt and I was pretty much done. But then I got a little creative or whatever and I decided I wanted to make myself a headband with the remaining material. The thing with cotton though is that once it's stretched, it loses its elasticity so I had to basically do the exact same thing I did with the string except I made it a few inches thicker. But other than that, it was the exact same method and after that i was all finished this is the shirt and then this is the headband that i just did i'm actually a fan of this like the way the shirt came out i'm not even that mad about it most likely if i were to wear this it would definitely be with blue jeans my only problem though is that when this shade of green gets wet you can really see it so like i literally sweat so much like i'm literally sweating right now so i don't know if i'll actually ever wear this out because the minute i start sweating it is over for me in this shirt like i'm probably not gonna wear it i'm actually pretty happy about it though you know i'm very what's satisfied with french is it really a video if I'm not searching up words in French. I feel like it's satisfait. Let's listen to her say it. Satisfait. Je suis satisfait avec ce shirt. Baguette croissant. Formidable. Um, but yeah, this is the shirt. I'm gonna go move on to my fourth thing. Okay, so. Oh, guys, I finished the vinyl wall look. My vinyl wall is not complete. I'm very happy about that. Kind of irrelevant, but whatever. The fourth thing that I'm thrift flipping is what I'm wearing. I'm literally just wearing whatever I'm gonna end up flipping. This is a sweater, numero cuatro. Yes, I speak Spanish. The original idea that I had for this was cutting the sweater into two. So I wanted to do like a top piece and then save the bottom piece for like a skirt. After measuring out where the skirt would go, I realized the skirt would be like a little too short and the top would be like literally cut up here. So instead of doing like a two piece, I figured I'd just make it a crop top. And then I got elastic from Michael. So basically I'm just gonna Put elastic like through the sweater so you can give it like that nice cinch look and then with the remaining material I want to try and make a scrunchie I don't really know how those work or like how to do them but I'm gonna try honestly the biggest part of this is literally sewing because I cannot sew so my mom's probably gonna have to teach me how to do this later tonight all right, so we're back with yet another green top. Honestly, my green addiction gradually worsens every single day. I am so sorry. Chalk wasn't really showing up on this knitted material, so I actually used a pin. I started off by cutting out the sweater, of course, and then I used needle pins to basically align the shirt so I know where I'll be sewing from. Make sure your sweater is inside out, by the way. I'm actually surprised I didn't make that mistake here. I did this on the front and the back, and then I basically just sewed along that section. I didn't really know what I was doing because I still don't really know how to sew. Like, the machine itself literally looks like a math equation, so you know me, I am not touching that. My mom basically did all the buttons and the pressing and I kind of just dragged the sweater along. I wasn't really doing much but you know I kind of felt like I was doing a little something. You're gonna want to leave it pocket so that you can thread the elastic through which as you can see gives it that like cinched look. After I finished I sewed the two ends of the elastic together and then sewed the pocket shut and I was done. Moving on to the scrunchies I had to search up the dimensions and I found out that it was four inches by seven inches. I basically folded the material over and sewed along the length. After sewing I flipped the scrunchie inside out and using a pin I basically repeated the same steps as I did with the sweater. I weaved the elastic through the scrunchie and I sewed those two ends of the elastic together. After this, I just hand sewed the two ends of the scrunchie. I made sure and folded it inwards to give it that seamless look. I honestly don't know what kind of stitch I was doing. I took family studies in the ninth grade, so I did like the back and forth stitch. I, I couldn't tell you honestly, I ever pressed most of the ninth grade, but after that, I was done with the scrunchies and the sweater. So this is the finished look. I'm actually really proud of this one because the length was perfect for my torso. I made sure and pre-measured the elastic to make sure it wouldn't be too tight on my waist. I paired this with a green plaid skirt. I was kind of going 
going for the monochromatic fit but i'm not too sure if it's really a look here i would definitely wear this later in the year though when it starts to get cold i feel like especially this shade of green is going to look so cute in the fall slash winter time the scrunchie's cute too i feel like i probably should have made it looser but my hands are also huge so it's kind of a double-edged sword there but overall i can't wait to wear this <laughs> into my dad's closet and i found this and it's like this long piece of thing no now i have enough things for the thrift lift i like i will cost i will literally i will buy dad's a shirt ask him just ask just ask all you have to do is ask no can you ask for me <laughs> please i don't want to you're the favorite daughter he likes, don't, you, don't even say that he right likes now. he doesn't even need this like do you guys really think my dad's gonna wear this justify stealing he's clothes. not he's not wearing this i have never seen him wear this before, what about his so. favorite shirt he likes to look at it or something. I don't know. I've I'm sorry, where's the energy though? If it's his favorite shirt, then where's the energy? Um, I have to ask my dad's permission to throw a flip this, but I'll probably end up doing it anyway. So, Do you wear this? No, we're not. Full break. You don't want, you don't like it? Mm-mm. Full break. So can I cut it up? No. What? Please? I'll wear it in the winter. No, please. I'll buy you a shirt like this. What are you for? It's a project. Hmm? It's a project. What kind of project are you going to make? I'm making a two-piece set. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so all y'all saw firsthand. I asked for permission. I won't hear nothing about me stealing clothes and cutting them up. I asked him. I got the approval. Somebody remind me to buy him a yellow polo, though, because I might forget. But this is the sweater. It was literally just this oversized shirt. I was looking for something like this at Value Village, but I couldn't really find it. So this ended up being perfect for the thrift flip. The idea for this shirt is that I wanted to turn into a two-piece set. So basically, a shorts as the bottom and then a crop top long sleeve as the top. Basically, what I was trying to do for the green sweater, I used these shorts as, like, my sewing pattern because they fit me really well i basically just traced out my shorts onto the long sleeve and then cut along the shirt where i had marked when it comes to making shorts you basically just have to cut out the same pieces four times which is exactly what i did however i made a little mistake because when tracing the next piece i decided to flip the shorts over which basically just inverted the pants in general for the top of this long sleeve i followed the exact same steps as i did with the green sweater i flipped it inside out folded it upwards pinned along the bottom and sewed it shut now remember like two seconds ago when i inverted the shorts by cutting them on the opposite side this is where it gets a little confusing so basically i should have cut four pieces so that you can sew the two sets of pieces together but when i flipped it over and sewed it i was left with one of the pieces flipped on the wrong side so using a seam ripper i basically had to remove the threading and then flip the bottom piece the other way to make it look like it was two right sides my mom had to help me with this part because after that happened i was kind of ready to give up but we fixed the shorts and then stacked the two shorts on top of each other and sewed along the curve this part was pretty simple for me it was just keeping the two sides equally together when i finished sewing the curve i basically had the front side and the back side of the shorts and i just sewed the two ends together which is basically like the seam that runs along the sides of your legs i then sewed the crotch together which was pretty easy for me at this point you could really see the shorts coming together so i was kind of getting a little excited or whatever the next morning all i had left to do was the waistband which once again is the exact same method as the cinch sweater you flip it inside out fold it over weave the elastic through sew the two ends of the elastic together and sew the whole shut and then you're done by the way i know these drawings suck but the way i'm explaining things is probably even worse so i hope it kind of helped probably didn't i barely understand what i'm saying but this was the finished look i was super proud of this i definitely won't ever leave the house in this i mean maybe the top i can wear with some jeans or something but the set itself is definitely loungewear like maybe if i'm going to like a sleepover if i had a little netflix and chill or whatever honestly i've just been wearing it as like sleeping clothes and i'm pretty obsessed with it <laughs>